I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal, and all I have are questions. What is the Pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? This everyone? Riddler mentioned Harley. Miss Quinn is otherwise occupied. Our crossing the river stinks. We are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh. This gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Pleasure to meet you. Something tells me the pleasure is going to be all mine. Enough pleasantries. You have the device. Excellent. Harley said your gems were in her safe. If she fails to return, you can pester John. He knows the code. It's fine. We can start. Oh, well, let's get to... What are we doing? Well, we're going to... extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but... Things change. Get his head in a good position. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Ugh, that's gross. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. Thank you. He was a... good man. And a friend. We can commiserate if you want. I recently lost a friend, too. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? No one told me you would be joining us either. Can't say I'm surprised. Not everyone here is happy to see me. I knew Riddler before this. He was the one who initially hired me. And he wound up dead, so... I'm not sure I have a lot of friends here. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. So how far did you get on that motorcycle? You haven't popped up on my radar in a while. Oh, you know, all over. Europe, mostly. Felt good to be as far from here as possible. Have we concluded? Two eyes in the can. Excellent work. Then we can... <gasps> She's back! Sorry 
I'm late. Traffic was murder. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. You were there, and, and I was here. I was on my way. Well, I was getting to get on my way. Look, I, I put on shoes. Oh, thanks, Puddin'. You would have had a blast if you were with me. Mm. And how about this one? Did you miss me, sugar? Well, John was beside himself. Was? I'd say still is. So I got one question for you. If you missed me so much, why the hell did you let them leave me behind? Since Big Bad Bane's plan almost got one of our most valuable members killed today, we're having a change in management. What the hell? So speak up if there are any objections. We can hash this out in a reasonable manner. Hurry! Oh, this one's actually got some brains. Everyone else better be smart, too. You! Ah, ah, ah. You are a means to an end when this is over. Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming. Because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me <laughs> from getting what I want. This leak, it almost got me killed. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Do I look nervous to you? It's not way. Excuse me, peanut gallery. You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. And I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then, let's get back to work. If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Hmm. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne! Come here a second. That was dangerous. Now you're on her radar. Hey, we chose a dangerous line of work. Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for you. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop. But look at this. And keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, let me see the laptop. I'm pretty tech-savvy, maybe I can crack Bruce, it. Bruce, in case you missed it, we have a mole problem. And until we clear that up, the keys to the kingdom stay with me. Got it? Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who were cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the black site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do... Maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. Well, I'm your guy. What do you need? 
See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I'm in. Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm, good points. Take it too. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn bites girl? Nah, he won't be any trouble. He does whatever I say. Impressive. And a little disturbing. <laughs> Who's ready to hit the road? Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You, Harley. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent Puddin. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shotgun. I want that black site location. I can't believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. We should check for traps. Who knows what Riddler did to this place? On it. Come on, John. Glad you answered. We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Harley's crew is a threat, and they are moving fast. Towards what? Do you know what their end goal is yet? No. No one's talking. Bruce, you are the best chance of figuring out what that is. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait. Uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start off. It's fine, John. There's a black side. Some sort of research lab, I'm guessing. Whatever's there, is what they're after. And Harley doesn't know the location. She asked me to find it. Stay put for now and maintain your cover at all costs. This is our chance to get ahead of this train. So I say, Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good thing we searched around. I noticed an old security camera and deactivated it. No telling what will come across inside. Okay, let's find a way in. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry. I brought my key. Let me give it a shot. Okay, share and share alike is what I always say. Wait a minute. I know you. 
You're Bruce Wayne. Uh, guilty is charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the Heights. You know I'm friends with Jim Gordon. If you want to check on me, just call him up. You think I'm gonna interrupt the boss and his family at dinner? I don't know. Are you? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock, right. Uh, uh, look, there's... actually a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Listen to me, you do that. And you'll be ending your career. I'll take my chances. Bruce freaking Wayne. Unbelievable. Wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't need the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Oh, sure, sure. O overtime, right? Well, maybe... Maybe I can help with that? I'm not that kind of cop. No, 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 no. Of course not. Of course not. This... This benefits both of us. Here, here, it's everything I got on me. Just hang up the phone, and it's yours. <laughs> Try not to die in there. I do not want this coming back on me. Come on, let's get moving. even worse than I expected. The man I knew was flawed, but he could still muster a little warmth. Huh, sounds like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. There's hope for everyone. I don't think any of us are beyond reach. <laughs> I know we've just met, but somehow I knew you'd say that. You knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but... It's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Ooh! I call the downstairs bedroom! <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. I'm getting really tempted to touch something! <laughs> How many TVs does one guy need? Probably afraid he'd miss something. Handcart? Wonder what he was moving. Bruce, I've been wanting to talk to you. Alone. You have? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. I don't trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. Don't worry, I can handle her. Oh, really? I'm Bruce Wayne. I deal with women like her all the time. You've got to admire the ingenuity. It's a wonderful toy. It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. 
There's something under here. Some kind of platform. This is where he built his boxes. until the second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Work, sleep, death. A little grim. A little boring is what it is. truly understand my mind, you must first walk a mile in my... Well, certainly you know the rest. Be careful what you said on those. To truly understand my mind, you must first walk a mile in my... Well, certainly you know the rest. I'm worried we're running out of time here. I take you by night, 
By day, take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> that sounds positive. like you've got both feet in the grave. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe... You could stay? Oh no! Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called the Agency. Partnered up with people, huh? Good to hear you've grown a bit. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see your face again, but... You look good. Even with what looks like a piercing gone wrong. Not great or anything. But... good. You look great too. I didn't say great. I said good. Okay, duly noted. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. You're better than that. You keep saying that. You're like a broken record. You two get a move on. Playing guard is getting pretty boring. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. But we've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. This might hold the black side location. button. <sighs> Encrypted. Just like the laptop. There must be something nearby we can use. I mean, there's got to be a password, right? It's what we came here for. It's at least worth a try. Riddles. <laughs> a little on the nose, don't you think?
USB drive. Here we go. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus? Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. Hephaestus protocol inactive. The decryptor! Danger around every corner. Glad to see Gotham hasn't changed. You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, they're a group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up! I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius... This is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. Forceful as always. <laughs> Bye, Bruce. It's been fun. You've gotten rusty. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit. You're coming out blurry. I forgot how skilled you are with your hands. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully bold move, considering we just met, Mr. Wayne. This is flirting. Move, John. Sorry, Bruce, but I'm taking Harley's laptop for myself, and I'm finishing this my way. <clears throat> Harley's laptop, huh? You and I, we're going to talk. Somewhere else. Oh, 
That's the stuff. So, John, about the laptop. Um... You know, I'm the first guy who'd resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she'd remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. Do that and you'll regret it, John. <laughs> That's the Bruce I fell for back in Arkham. But I don't think you'd kill me. And if you didn't, I still might tell her. And I wonder where that leave you, Bruce. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Catwoman and I are... What we have is a little tangled up. Oh, but I wouldn't give to be that tangled up with her. Only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat, then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How? Can I get that with Harley? You just need to be genuine. You're special, John. She just needs to see that. So, be myself. I hear that a lot, but how can I be myself if I don't really know who that is yet? How did you know who you are, Bruce? I've always known who I am. Something happened early on that... that made me what I am today. Oh, I hope a moment like that finds me soon. Must be great to be... who you're supposed to be. I can feel someone... a few layers deep... pacing... like an animal... in a cage. Just looking... Something to start it. The prison break. Hey, that's who you really are? You shouldn't suppress it. But I, I'm quite scrambled. Hey, that's what I like about you. And I bet that's what Harley will like too. But how does that even work? Bond with her. Lend a hand with a problem she has. I don't know, Bruce. I have a tough time just talking to her. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's play pretend. Uh, what? You be Harley. Say something Harley would say. That laptop is for my eyes only. Oh, I see what you're doing. You want to talk about the laptop, okay. But I want to talk about Harley. We made a deal. She would say something like that, though. Okay, now say something, uh, date-like. Like we're out painting the town red. Hi, John. I like hiking. Do you like the outdoors? Why you love me? So, so what do you think? Pretty good, right? That was perfect, John. Why did you think you couldn't do this? Really? I guess I'm just a natural lady killer. Okay, hit me. Another. What was your favorite thing about Arkham, Puddin? For me, it was Sloppy Joe Fridays. Bruce! This is just uncanny! Okay, okay, here we go. I enjoyed... 
the lights. They had a hum to them. Felt like a blanket. Fuzzy, even. I miss that on the outside. It, it doesn't feel as real here, you know? Out here, chaos seems to rule the day. It's loud and uneven. But you, Harley, you thrive on it. I could learn from that because I thrive on you. You're my light outside of Arkham. It's beautiful, John. She'll be eating out of your hand in no time. Y you think? I, I don't know. It, it felt weird to say. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll start the next one. Your face has all the adequate face-like qualities one looks for in, uh, in a face. Harley, I lobbed you a perfect pitch. You gonna swing or what? John, sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. Our talk really got me fired up to find myself. My true self. Plus, your Harley is spot on. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. Okay, let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? evening. Oh, it's good you're here. The last time I fired this up, you didn't show. Had me concerned. What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Oh, that ain't like you. You don't take time off. I had business elsewhere. Well, it better have been pretty damn important. Had to notify a lot of families tonight. Too many. I was counting on you. I'm sorry. It's just we took a big hit from those animals. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. Uh, by then it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops, then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know he was your friend, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. But I think he might have been up to some shady stuff before Riddler's attack on Wayne Tower. He might not have been the man you thought. Not entirely. I don't know anything about that. Maury was an arms dealer, and Riddler targeted him the same way he did Fox. My gut is telling me that's no coincidence. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. They could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look. Just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? With all the scandals surrounding his family, it's hard not to be familiar with Bruce Wayne. Yeah, and if you haven't noticed, he's got a knack for burying bad publicity. He had everyone believing he was a stand-up guy, including me. You know, at first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. 
A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? He flashes enough cash at one of my officers to get into Riddler's old workshop. Why? Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Dirtbag's got stones, I'll give him that. Bruce Wayne is dirty, and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened, too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it. But you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Damn it, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. I can't ask you to break the law, Jim. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. It sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selena and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's my fault Gordon is like this. I want to tell him everything, but I can't. Secrets poison relationships, Bruce. But to protect this city, to protect yourself, he can't know. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. She already betrayed me, back at the workshop. Yes. Catwoman's motives will always be suspect. You know what must be done. I didn't do it. Splendid. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't, Batman. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have in spandex or whatever my suit is. What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. It's so nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. No. Uh-huh. Jeez, this is Arkham all over again. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on, before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise 
Nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Nothing will happen to her. You have my word. All right, good. I'm trusting you on this one. Now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. What? What the? No pictures. Laptop behind the stack deck. Well, I hope you weren't counting on a specific time because, you know, that's what I use my phone for. You speak, but all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Impressive science, Freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne is cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on. I, I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid, just like you! I got mouths to feed! Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found! I... You know I'm no traitor! I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? I think Bane's on to something. You're the mole. The hell, man! You son of a bitch! It appears your time is up. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no! <laughs> Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. 
What do you want, John? Right. Uh, the laptop. This seems like the perfect time. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top. Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley, what a surprise. You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus, ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The mole, Bane's men, you... maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it... alone. <laughs> I have a problem, and I want to help! You, time out! And you, we need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. This here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Is it John? Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Looks like. I'm on my way to meet him now. Alfred, keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. <sighs> He's here. Silent killer. How do you even do that? Did you get it? It didn't feel great, you know, stealing from her. It felt like there was a little Harley with a halo on this shoulder telling me not to do it, and then the bat on the other whispering, Just get it, John. <sighs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? You must run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. Quite the opposite, in fact. I serve the greater good, John. I can't let my feelings get in the way of that. If someone I care about is on the wrong side, that makes them my enemy. A black and white world. <laughs> so much easier to parse. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus, 
I bring you the Gorgon's head. You did want this, right? So I'll just leave it right here, okay? So, is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. Well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me anything. What about those uh, boomerangs you have? I promised to only use it for, uh, you know, s hero things. Fine. <laughs> so awesome. Battering. Long range weapon. Effective. Dangerous. You nailed it. Dead on. Your turn. On my hand. Oh gosh. <laughs> my hands are sweating. Use your free hand to help you aim. It'll follow your elbow. Don't overthink it. Just throw. Yeah. Oh, dang! It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Can I, uh, can, can I keep it? No. Working with you, Batman, it's just been, wow. What I meant to say is, uh, it's, it's been an honor. If you ever, Need someone to watch your back. You know, I'm good with a batarang. And I have a lot of guns, too. If that helps. This is exciting. A new leaf. You have potential, John. Do something good with it. Well, with you to look up to, how could I go wrong? Do you have a cape, guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. Your man on the street. Literally. Hmm. Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. How did you get inside? Just what are you insinuating, Bruce? That I broke in? Well, I mean... Did you? No, genius. I was invited in. <laughs> Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Ms. Kyle is injured. I've dressed the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. You're right. He's been off lately. I'm glad you're aware. You're lucky to have each other. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through... <sighs> there. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. 
I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. No. I had no idea. No, of course you didn't. The laptop. I know you snatched it from Harley. I want to find that black site. Before they do. The laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? You know when it comes to me, nothing is for free. I'll give you what you really want. Me? I've already had you. But I appreciate the offer. What do you want from me, Selena? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selena, I need you. I can't do this without you. Say it and it's yours. Selena, I need you. And? I can't do this without you. No. You can't. Thanks. It's been a rough night. So, what now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together, or not? I'm out on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. coming I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place. It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. Make yourself comfortable. I'll try. This place, it's not exactly... cozy. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that it means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. You're a bad influence on me. I didn't care about anyone either. You? The guy who saves people for kicks? It's not the same thing. No. No, it's not. Well, aren't we a pair? Unfeeling monsters hiding in the basement. <laughs> Being here, with you, I came back to Gotham for a little redemption, but I didn't expect to find it next to you. It's nice, the way I feel around you, like, like I can be better. Do you maybe feel the same? I'm gonna kiss you now. That's what I wanted. Oh, I've missed this. Hold that thought. Is that what I think it is? 
What is my stuff doing on display in your cave? Alongside mementos of the psychopaths you've locked up? Not that you're normal by any stretch of the imagination, but... Uh, and there I am. Right next to Harvey Dent. This has got to be good. It remind me of you. Is that such a bad thing? Uh, did you... want them back? Hold on to them. They look kinda nice there. Tea for two is served. Alfred, thank you. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data. I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because well, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'm impressed you felt close enough to someone to welcome them into the Batcave. But I'm curious to know why. What is it about her? Not that I'm judging, mind you. She's important to me. I thought as much. Good for you, Bruce. This is a big step. <sighs> it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. Invoices, schematics, design notes. Riddler must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa? Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. 
This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. Oh no. Some kind of viral agent from the looks of things. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. The agency. Don't you work with them? Amanda Waller. She runs the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. Bruce. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Down, down! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest. For armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Don't hurt him! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! Uh, you need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so... violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. What in the... Director Waller? Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it. What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency, they're not always going to be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're going to run out of favors to call in. Oh, my... I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Oh, save Officers, it. please. I... He's involved. He belongs in a cell. This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power, and you know it. Waller! I said... Don't do this! Dismissed. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. 
when you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing, it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous, but there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but... I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. Got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new Batsuit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad... I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to believe. But hearing it from him... Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed the city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With Dad gone... Maybe I can still help. If Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. <sighs> the way things are going right now... He could use a little help. Okay. I need to... digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with black ops experiments. Human subjects. The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst-case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation. It's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the pact at each other's throats, the agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox, but a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. Makes sense. Why endanger anyone else when I have my own personal wrecking crew? My thoughts, exactly. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. 
We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. But sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. Some heat pipes. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. That appears to just be a patron. They're heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives.
That access door is connected to the spa. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Rise and shine. you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the Black Site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. Attract Wayne to the location of the Black Site. He had I sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? 
You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. I hadn't taken you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know? Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. Deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. What's left of them? But it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face, uh... Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. Br who's... who's that? <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> nice try, but you're a book. And I read ya. I'm glad you have a friend in this world, Bruce. That's invaluable. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing. The laptop went missing after that. Well, you seem to have made up your mind already. I guess one of us has to be the mole. But you've already cleared me. Trying to make me second-guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... The rat... <laughs> have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. Take that! <clears throat> You're hitting him already. Huh. I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but this is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. 
I said it loud and clear. I internally. But you know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. And don't think I don't feel just awful about this. Since, you know, I stole it. Can't help but feel a little bit responsible. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. <clears throat> you can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I got you what you wanted. I found the black side. This ain't about what it was or what you did with it. It's about trust. And I ain't got none for you no more. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, oh, Puddin'. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica.